What's going on guys? Etika here to bring you another status update for the EWN. And um, let me see, is my audio? Yeah, I think my audio is good. So anyways guys, I'm here to bring you guys another status update. And this one's going to be not as important as the others, but still, I think it's information that you guys should definitely know about. So. Now, going into the specifics of the information, first off, Machinima. Now, I do want the channel to progress in a really good way, and I do want to be partnered at some point because I feel that the quality that we have on this channel, as a lot of you guys can say, is definitely above standard. And since we are above standard here, I figure that we might as well aim for the best of the best. So I applied for a Machinima partnership the other day, and I think it was about three days ago, so hopefully they respond soon. I mean, I'm really anxious. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it should be one hell of an experience. It's kind of like nerve-wracking in a way. Like, I hope I get accepted, but hey, man, even if I do or I don't, it doesn't make a damn difference for you guys because you're still going to get the same content and quality that you've always been getting. If anything, the difference will really be beneficial for me because, you know, then um, videos do better, more people see it. Um, in general, it's a really, really good move. So wish me luck with the Machinima application. It was a long application. I finally put it in and um, hopefully I get a good response. I mean, I was thinking maybe I should have waited another month before I submitted it. But you know what? We're, we're, time is not on anyone's side. So I figure why not just do it? as soon as possible and hey man if they if they want me to improve then I'll improve but yeah so wish me luck with that guys now the next piece of news I wanted to talk about everything's on my phone as usual so um the next thing okay now the main thing the like the main problem that hindered my videos and the um basically the creation of my videos the main problem was the fact that I was really really uncomfortable sitting down in my chair my current chair that I use to edit my videos right now is extremely uncomfortable to the point where I can't sit in it for more than 40 minutes at a time until my back starts to ache really badly and I get these weird like sores on my ass and it just really hurts to sit down after a while so usually after 40 minutes of working on the computer I have to go and lay down in bed to rest it all off so that was a big hindrance now considering that that was the main problem literally I'm not joking like every 40 minutes I have to rest for like at least an hour and then I can get back in shape considering that I've still been able to release videos at a very frequent level so give me some props there but you guys I'm gonna show you the chair that I've had ever since I started working on the new revamped ethical world network this chair I've been using for a long time now and I'm about to show you it and this way you can see exactly why the hell I've been in such pain using it for so long after working on my computer for long periods of time take a look as you can see yeah that's that's my chair right there Yep, that's my chair, my work chair. The chair that I've been using to produce every single piece of content that the Etika World Network has to deliver. All right, I'm guessing from that that you feel my pain. So yeah, literally feel my pain. So basically I needed to fix this problem and I pretty much found a good way. Ikea, if you guys don't know what Ikea is, then I feel bad for you. But Ikea basically has a wide variety of computer chairs that are really, really good. And straight out, I got myself one. So take a look. Uh, let me just move this down. There we go. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, so I mean, it's a really, really good chair from what I saw online. And it should do my back a whole lot of better service because if you guys don't know, it's really difficult for a tall person to sit down or in general to be anywhere for long periods of time without having a comfortable place to sit. And that does not go any less like for sitting and working at home. So this way, with this nice handy dandy chair, I will be able to produce a lot more content on a much more frequent basis. It's like a chair is almost as important as a bed in a way. And you got to make sure that I, at least at home, everything is taken care of. I have a lot of back pain nowadays from sitting in that damn chair, a whole lot of neck pain from sitting in the damn chair. So you know what? With this new chair, I should be good. And I'm going to do a full unboxing and assembly video for you guys to see and a little bit of a product review as well. So this way you can know if the chair is good. The chair itself is a fully decked computer chair with all the trimmings for only $60 from Ikea. So it's also a really, really good chair if you guys do want a chair that's like bargain in a sense. So that's a really, really good thing to look forward to. So I will have that up most likely in a matter of maybe a day or two. So you guys have that to look forward to. Yay, aren't you happy? I know I am. I got me a new chair. My ass isn't gonna get destroyed anymore by the damn chair with a surface harder than metal, even though it is metal. Um, Okay then, 
So now, finally, I believe I've covered almost every single thing that I need to bring up to you guys, except for one. This one is involving um, my computer. Now, you know I use a laptop, an Alienware M14X R2, and even though it is a damn good laptop, at the same time, the temperatures do get rather hot, but it usually is able to handle them. Usually the temperatures at maximum output at 3.8 gigahertz wouldn't go any higher than 65, 70 degrees Celsius, and it wouldn't even stay at that. It would just fall back down to like one, like it would fall back down to 30 degrees Celsius after I'm done turbo boosting it and using it for my rendering, right? Well, here's the problem. Lately, the temperatures on this thing when overclocking, like going like this thing, if I mean my beautiful Alienware M14XR2, but lately the temperatures on that have been exceeding 90 degrees Celsius, sometimes even 100 degrees Celsius. So I looked into the problem, figured out that it's a thermal paste which is worn out on the computer, so I need to replace the thermal paste. So that is also another reason why I haven't been rendering videos and uploading as much because I don't want to blow this thing's brains out since the thermal paste is done. When I get the thermal paste put in on it, I'll feel a lot more comfortable rendering videos all the time, having things working on the computer. I haven't even played a single game on my computer yet because I know if it, over, if it makes it overclock or makes it turbo boost, that thing is going to burn out my CPU because 90 degrees Celsius is not healthy for any computer, regardless of the build, laptop, desktop, whatever. And 90 degrees Celsius for you guys that don't know is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is not something easy to deal with. So yeah, wish me luck with that. I mean, I bought myself a, um, let me just get this for you guys. I bought myself a little screwdriver and disassembly kit to be able to work with my computer. So I mean, hey, it should be cool. Let me just see if I can get this thing to focus. Come on, there we go, yeah, come on. You're a $1,500 camera, the least you can do is focus for me. But yeah, so as you guys can see, um, with that, I was able to get a little bit of a toolkit to be able to take my computer apart, so hopefully that'll work out well, but there's no guarantees. I hope I don't fuck up my computer, but then again, it's just changing the thermal paste, so it shouldn't be that bad. So I'm ordering the thermal paste soon, and with that, I should be back in business with rendering videos totally. So with the new chair and the thermal paste, putting my temperatures back to normal, you're gonna get a lot more videos from the Ethical World Network, and that was something I felt was important to tell you guys, since I did miss a video yesterday. So I felt like it was important to let you guys know what the hell's going on. And by yesterday, I mean on the um, 6th, I believe. I don't know what date it is. I don't care what date it is. What I care about is getting my new chair built and then getting that thermal paste in my computer and relaxing. But anyways, guys, thank you for tuning into this EWN status update. If you have anything else that you want to bring up with me, like comments, criticism, concerns, etc., feel free to bring them up in the comments section or to message me on my YouTube. I do reply to everything, even though it takes a while because I've been running around a lot nowadays and I had a lot of errands to run yesterday and the day before, but you know what? Everything's cool now. So, um, hey guys, until the next video, I will talk to you all later. Stay tuned to the Ethical World Network and I will talk to you some other time. Take care of yourselves and please have a damn good one.